Is Rose by any other name smell as sweet? Probably, but who cares? The point is, I found the rose. And this story's a good one. So, my local Walmart that gets next to nothing got in the retro Spider-Man wave. And it sat there for three weeks. The only thing that sold was Spider-Woman. Oddly enough, I didn't expect that. So after a bit, finally Chasm, Ben Riley, and Tarantula sold, and lo and behold, the only one left was the Rose. I'd been kind of iffy on the Rose. It was kind of like, eh, you know, should I, shouldn't I? Kind of thing. I don't hate the character, but don't love the character. And honestly, I always said he looked like, you know, Snake Eyes in a formal dinnerware. But seeing him all by himself there, I just kind of went, hmm. Yeah, why not? I mean, good gangster for my Spider-Man display, ultimately. It's not like I don't know the character. And I do remember the reveal of the Rose way back when. So that, you know, that didn't hurt either. So I grabbed him and headed up to the counter. Thinking, okay, 25 bucks. Ring it up. Boom, 10 and Hodala. I was kind of surprised and kind of happy. Because this figure is definitely worth $10. For the most part, it's just a suited body. And, of course, the suit's going to limit articulation a slight bit. He comes with this ganky gun that is actually the same gun that came with Bucky Cap. Why you give the ga same ganky gun to a gangster, I don't know. A gun? I don't know. It just looks like somebody threw together a bunch of stuff that kind of wanted to look like a gun and then said okay that's a gun anyway you give it to your top gangster you give it to your top hero no one knows the difference and then there's another gun with an extended mag why who knows he has two guns and a rose and fists a pointing hand and a shooting hand right now he is probably topping out the accessory department in this in this way as such you know you got to give him props for that but here's the funny part he only has one hand to, ho to hold the gun or the rope now you can squeeze in you kind of hook in the rose on the pointing hand on, on the thumb it's a little difficult but once you get it you get it But it looks really weird on the pointing hand. Because why are you pointing with a rope? That's weird. So besides that, I mean, it's still not a bad figure. I mean, it's kind of limited in what he can do. He can just kind of point and shoot. Really simplistic. Real, not much can you can do with the character. And then again, the character was kind of a one-off anyway. Because once it got revealed that it was Wilson, Wilson Fist's kid, what more was there to say? I mean, it, the story was done. And yet the rose keeps coming back at him. Somehow. But I would say it's an alright figure. I mean, if you get it for 10 bucks, definitely good. Definitely a good buy. So, yeah, another gangster to the collection. Go against Spider Man. Or maybe the Punisher if I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> maybe want to kill off a character. Man, huh. Anyway, that will uh, wrap up uh, Infinite Realms for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe.